we need to figure out which sides are going to correspond. Do these two uh, figures look like they're facing the same direction? Yeah. No, they're kind of flipped around. Like it doesn't look like the other ones that we've done. And so I'm given that this measures 12 and 6 tenths. This is 4 and 2 tenths. Here we have x and 1.5. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, let's look. I have four sides on both of these figures. Um, something that is different from like a rectangle is that I have this slanted side. Are there more than one slanted side on my figure? No. 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 So what does that tell me about the two slanted sides? They correspond. They correspond to each other. Good. So I can go ahead and mark that. All right, well, let's see. Opposite or across from my slanted sides, I have a straight side on both of these, right? Does that mean that these two sides correspond to each other also? Yes. Great. So you're showing me that. So I've got two sides that correspond. Now I have two more left. All right, so I have this side and this side. Um, what can I call it? Like, what do I see that's different about these two sides? There's one that's bigger or longer, right? So there's like a long side and a short side. Is that okay to assume? Okay, so does this long side match with this short side? Or does a long side match with the long side? Yeah, long side to long side. Yes, Terrence? Your drawing is different? Number six? Okay. Questions on how we matched up these sides? Okay, so we're good with this. Now we can go ahead and figure out this missing link by again setting up a proportion. Okay. Any ideas on how we want to start? We can pick any of these numbers here and put it wherever we want and then we can work around that. Yes, Jay? Sorry. Number six on page 41. Okay. Any ideas? What do we want to put here? McKenna? 12 and 6 tenths. Well, let's put 12 and 6 tenths here. Okay, so if I have 12 and 6 tenths right here, I need to have a corresponding side either down below or directly across. Which side corresponds with 12.6? Oh, look. See my arrow? X. Yeah, X. So the X can be here or it can be here. Where do we want it? Cross. Sure. We'll put it here. That's telling me that the way I'm setting it up is that I've got the number from the largest and now I have a number from the smaller one. Same thing has to be true here. A number from the small shape, or I'm sorry, the big shape, and a number over here for the small shape. So what number belongs here? Yeah, the only other number that's given to me in this larger picture. And then over here, the also the side that corresponds to that, which is 1.5. Okay? Questions so far? Are we okay? Now, I could maybe look for a shortcut, but I don't see one. It would have been four times or four and two tenths times what gives you one and a half or 4.2 divided by something, but uh, too hard. So do you see any other options besides cross multiplying? Mm -hmm. Now, normally I'd say, sure, go ahead and try and reduce, but I've got some decimals here. It may be more work reducing than rather than just like multiplying. It's up to you, though. Mm -hmm. I say just cross multiply. Yes, ma'am. If you did it by 2, it would be much easier. What? What do you mean by two? Oh, div divided by two. Okay. How would I divide by two? Yeah, you would say how many times does twelve point? Uh, how many times does two go into twelve point six? Good. And how many times does two go into four point two? Nice. Now, if you can't do this in your head, don't worry about it. Just don't simplify first. Just cross multiply. Okay, so we've got 6 and 3 tenths multiplied by 1.5 or 1 and a half. Pull to the side, work it out. 5 times 3? 15. Good, 15. 
5 times 6, 30 plus 1, 31. 1 times 3, 1 times 6. And then I add it. 5 and 0, 3 and 1, 6 and 3. 945. No. no. Yeah, look, I have 1 and 2. So 1, 2, 9.45. Does it matter which side of my equal sign it goes on? No, it doesn't matter. And then I have uh, 2.1 times x, which is 2.1x. What's next? Good. Very nice. Divide by the number that's in front of my variable which is 2.1. Now this might look real nasty, but it's probably not very difficult. And I'll show you exactly how to set it up, if you have forgotten. Where does 9.45 go if we are doing division? Inside. Thank you. And then the 2.1 on the outside. But move my decimal because I can't have a decimal here on the outside. So move it once over, which means I have to move this one once over and then I bring it up into my answer. You okay so far? Yes. All right, 21 goes into 9 how many times? Zero, Zero times, because the question was 21 into 9. But 21 into 94? Four. We can estimate 2, 4, 6, 8, probably only 4 times. So 4 times 21 is? Tony? Um, 84. Good, 84. I subtract and I get? 10. Bring down the 5. 21 into 105? Yes, Tony. 5. 5 times. What is 21 times 5? Perfect. I like nice, easy numbers. So, what does that mean about this number here? 4.5 or 4.5 millimeters is my answer for X, for this missing side right here. Yes, Tony. I have a question. Sure. 